Oh, I didn't bring any water for this reaction. Damn it. I'm gonna have to go in dry. We're already on the 11th episode of Batwoman. I honestly didn't think I'd get in this far, but you know, it's had a glimmer of nice moments. It's got a nice level of cringe, but I mean, after Falcon and the Winter Soldier, if I can handle that, I should be able to handle Batwoman. I watched the promo for episode 11 before I even saw episode 10. And that's what I just do now because I just do not give a damn about Batwoman anymore. Turns out it's gonna have like a uh, Fast and the Furious angle that should tell you right there how desperate the showrunners are i mean i enjoy the fast and furious franchise but it's running on fumes at this point i mean at when they got to fast seven when paul walker died that's when they should have ended it why am i talking about this right now let's get to batwoman okay i bet you they're driving three day woos <laughs> so, such generic looking race cars I mean, do you really want to draw attention to yourselves by driving really fast, really loudly? Ever since Ocean's disappearance, we've had issues with quality control. He always said the snake bite formula was toxic if it wasn't cooked using his secret method. So snake bite isn't just mushrooms and fear toxin. It's got some kind of special ingredient <laughs> that keeps it from being toxic. And now they need Ocean to get that the rest of the recipe. So I'm guessing Ocean's coming back. Please let Ocean come back. He's so fine. This show needs man candy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like Luke, he's too soyish. Got too much soy to be to be attractive. The final ingredient will be delivered soon. And if I've gone through all this trouble just to find out you can't cook after all. Oh, that's <laughs> that chemical. Yeah. Oof. Forget it. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait. She was like kneeling in an acidic chemical with glass on the floor and her knees look fine. Attention to detail, Batwoman. Your shit looks like a straight up fan film when you do shit like that. We don't know much, but the good news is I think she's alive. So False Face got her. Brian, leave this alone. False Face is dropping bodies all over Gotham. Will you let me help you? Will you let me help you? Um, I'm sorry. Who the fuck has been talking about how they don't need the crow's help? Now suddenly, oh, when your girlfriend's at risk, now all of a sudden you're kissing their ass. No, how about no? You weren't fucking with us and we don't fuck with you. Let's just keep it that way. Crofy says Andrew's kidnapped by false face. I love how Luke was just... <laughs> No paperwork, nothing. She rushed in there during a dramatic phone call. And she turns to the left and Luke's just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> if that isn't like the perfect dynamic between Batwoman and everyone else on the show, it's perfect. Can you put a trace on those cars? Well, I flagged them both in the city grid. So as soon as either one makes an appearance on traffic cams, you're up, Batwoman. Good, I'll be ready. Look at these rocks on the goddamn table. Are they growing over it? It's rock overgrowth because it's a cave. Somehow that makes sense. I'm noticing like the props are starting to look faker as the show goes on. I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, I'm tempted to, like, Alice. I'm just tempted to fucking fast forward past this shit. Dr. Rhyme? I'm Jackson, you're a new patient. You don't recognize this bitch? She is a wanted terrorist. Like she has her own gang. She's basically like the female Joker, but not as cool. Like nowhere near as fucking cool. Yikes, <laughs> this is very disturbing. You mean my divorce? I can read between the lines, you sick puppy. Okay, I'm fast forwarding. This is annoying. This is already annoying. I'm fast forwarding. I can't take this shit. I'm skipping everything that involves her. Okay, wait, Enigma walked in. I have to watch that, unfortunately. No! And why did you track me down? I have someone else I need to forget. My sister, Kate. All you had to do was say my sister. I can't stand it when they add unnecessary details in when they do the dramatic reveal. We know who Kate is, bitch. <laughs> this bitch wearing this like Monty Python helmet. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Also, how can you see well in those masks while you're like these? Like that's another thing. Like they're doing a Fast and Furious thing with the False Face Society, but they wear these like constricting masks that would really fuck up their blind sides. Plus, like there's a bit. There's gonna be a big gap where they can't see shit. Oh, 
Oh shit! She was undercover the whole time and you ruined it, you dumb, baddie bitch. George! You know how much I paid to get these cornrows done? Fucking wasted! Thanks a lot! It's not my fault you saw the car I was looking for! What the fuck? Clearly she is undercover! I'm burned! Black Mask gives out the location on these phones minutes before the heist begins. And he only gives the drop-off info after the pickup is complete. And if you show up late, they know something's up in the board. You moron! You're a moron! Moron, moron. <laughs> I knew she'd fuck it up so <laughs> Whether you admit it or not, Kate matters to you. Erasing her will radically change your personality. Kate's memory isn't a cancer inside your brain. In fact, I believe she's your last moral compass. She had a semblance of a moral compass before you erased her memories? I mean, before you fucked with her head. Wait, what? Either the show is fucking dumb and you know, it's not, it's not far off at all. Or I, I just confused myself. Kate is her moral compass. You can't get rid of her. I know this bitch is probably trying to trick her. I hope Alice doesn't believe that so easily. That's kind of stupid. You need to confront Kate and make these visions disappear. Then in theory, I can wipe her from your memory without completely fracturing your psyche. I mean, you really trust some bitch with your mind? I wouldn't put my trust in this bitch's hands so easily. Remember what happened when Julia did? That dumbass. Commander, I have an update. I Agent Moore. Oh, look at Ricky Martin over here. <laughs> you don't like an agent. You got too much gel. That's too much gel to be any kind of law enforcement. His ears poke out more than his hair does, though. <laughs> I'll find another way in. I, I Put yourself behind the wheel of a heist car. Don't y'all usually go undercover? Why is this so unreal? Oh, right. I forgot Jacob's a crackhead now. Effective immediately, I'm putting Agent Tavaroff in charge of the operation. Russell Tavaroff shouldn't be leading a hostage recovery. He'll go in guns blazing. False face declared war on us, not the other way around. Commander, what is this actually about? You've been really off. Get out! He's always off. What are you talking about? <laughs> What has he not been uh, either a dick or like completely gone or drunk? Like, what has he not been that? Ryan, I don't want to freak you out, but the new guy who's taken the lead, he is going to scorch the earth to take down False Face. Oh, good. You've known him for like a, a minute and he's, he's just really adamant about getting the job done. I guess that automatically means he's going to go in and murder people. It's going to be like uh, Fort Worth, Texas all over again. It was Fort Worth, Texas, right? Or they smoked out that whole cult and burned them all alive. We don't know for sure if he's that guy. So I, I'm just saying, like, relax. False face is planning another fear toxin heist just as soon as he finds a new driver. Oh no. <laughs> no way. Come on. You and I got Angie into this mess. We need to find her before your crows do. What other options have you got? If you fuck this up, I'm choking you with my braids. I'm not even playing. <laughs> what do you feel? That's oh, so fucking awkward. Hey, I'm hypnotizing you. This isn't awkward, is it? Um, how is she being hypnotized by flashing lights if her eyes are closed? I'm your sister, and I'll always believe in you. That means a lot to me. Except it doesn't, because you're dead. <sighs> Master manipulator with no feeling. <laughs> His fat ass. I love how he's driving the car like he's her father. Almost like her brain is telling her, yeah, Ocean is daddy. That's her subconscious. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, no, technically it was her mom driving, but I'm gonna stick with my other conclusion. Mary was sweet enough to lend us her car. I got some info from the last driver on how he was hired. You'll have to run through a series of street racing moves. No way of knowing what they'll be. Street racing moves. Let's see how uh, the choreographers pull this shit off. Do you know what redlining is? What backpedaling means? Are you helping me? Or are you just looking for an excuse to call this off? You're a useless sack of shit. She doesn't need a reason. <laughs> okay, when's the interview? Without the crows, I had to reach out to someone for help setting it up. But don't worry, he's trustworthy. Is it Luke? What's up, nigga? <laughs> they, got no, they have no other friends. It's just the same group of assholes. So. You are a fast and furious getaway driver with a rap sheet 10 miles long, and I'm gonna spoof a text message from a known false face associate recommending you for the job. And done. 
Uh, but you did make it to where they couldn't run her prints and find out her real identity, right? They did that in Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh my god, are they really fucking stealing shit from two, from the Fast and Furious franchise? That's what I could be watching right now. I mean, and the franchise is, isn't even, like, high art. It's not, it's not really, technically it's not good. But it's so much more entertaining than this shit. What's this? Comms for us to communicate without Sophie knowing. A tracker to place on the fear toxin and a portable version of the Batmobile's AI. What AI? You didn't notice I installed it with the new paint job? I thought my driving skills were getting better. Yeah, no. <laughs> Luke was like, no, you're trash. Hey, remember that sequence from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift? Let's rip that off too! You guys look like fucking morons. Come on, I just did a 360 and drifted the- Oh my god, you look like the biggest moron! This nigga's wearing a robot mask and he looks like a jacket. This episode was so boring <laughs> until that moment. What's the horsepower on your ride? Well, she came with a standard 1500 till I tuned the ECU. Now she tops out at 1774. I bet you that is such gibberish. Like that's <laughs> the shit. Half the shit she said doesn't even fucking exist. First jobs tonight. Yeah, you mumbled off some random like car facts. You get to transport these illegal drugs in this really, you know, sensitive heist. Kind of waiting for an important phone call here. FAA says there's an unknown drone in the sky above you. It's gotta be false face. If you pull over to plant that tracker, they'll see it. Maybe I can do it without stopping. Fear toxin canisters are double sealed, unstable. If you inhale even one breath of the stuff. Drive, you idiot. You can talk and drive. <laughs> you have the cargo, you have the route. Your legs will consider you burned. I love this fucking GPS just says straight. That might be what's causing Ryan to be anxious, like the, the very presence of the word straight. <laughs> oh crap. We got cars on our tail. How fast can you take over again? Just need a little more time. Yeah, it's almost like driving really goddamn fast is gonna draw attention to you. When a heist is over, like everything's over and they lose the cops, that's when they start driving normally because cops kind of stop people who are speeding. Tracker's on. Oh, that's me. Uh, no, you drove like two minutes and then Luke had to take over for your ass. Hey, where's Sophie? She asked for the tracker dad and told me to meet you guys here. She ditched us for the crows? No, 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 she... She was too worried they'd storm the place and kill Ange. She's taken on false base herself. Got deeper this time. I want Ocean gone. Focus on what your senses are telling you. What you hear, what you feel. I feel like this is really contrived. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. You killed me for nothing. They're screwed up. And then there's you. <laughs> His breath is so rank. His breath is so rank and blue. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I thought you said you killed them. I'm alive and very pissed off. Wait, what? The fuck is going on? Like, I'm glad my piece of chocolate is back. But what the fuck? Die. Sophia wanted me dead. She enlisted a woman who could twirl a bow song in her sleep, but insisted you use one of her knives. She dipped the plate in Desert Rose. Shut up! Stop bringing that dumb shit up again! <laughs> Just snap her fucking neck already! Mockingbird anew! Why didn't you just do that in the first place? The one thing I promised Sophia, I would never do. That is so fun. What else do you use that for, if not uh, restraints? Yeah, I didn't buy that you, you snapped his wrist. I, I, no. Like, I don't mind that, like, some, like, female action stars are kind of small in frame but can you at least attempt to make it look like that they do like they use more intelligence in their fighting to make up for their lack of strength they just do shit men do and we're supposed to fucking buy it no where's angelique 
No, 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 you're not the one asking the questions. <laughs> I have eyes on Crow's headquarters. You did come here alone, didn't you? You moron. <laughs> It's funny, when I told the Bat how personal this was to me, I thought the Crows would take me more seriously, not less. Oh, she didn't tell you. Well, that's an embarrassing lack of coordination. <laughs> yes, stop giving this nigga bangers to say. Stop. Stop making the villains look so much smarter than everyone else. It's so annoying. Like, it's not that he's so smart that he can outsmart anyone, even like the protagonist. It's that everyone else is so dumb that he can outsmart them. I'm here to screw up more shit. In the face. Shoot her in the face. Oh, go take off the mask, aren't they? Angelique, where is she? I need you to watch as these two let me go. And if they don't, I need you to shoot her. I mean, yeah, I, I don't understand. Did you think it was gonna be any other scenario than this? <laughs> we gotta let the villain go again. <laughs> Didn't demask him. Didn't even do that. I don't care if you let him go because they got Angie or whatever, but you didn't even take off his mask. <laughs> Finish the first cook. This is all new equipment, and I want to talk to you about how we should roll it out. I thought we might allow you to be the ceremonial first recipient. Actually, I was Ocean's assistant, but he never gave me the full technique. You are an endless disappointment. Oh, I'll help you find Ocean. How the fuck would she know where to find Ocean? Well, oh, well, now that he's back in Gotham City, you know, out of nowhere. What luck! Sophia thought our family's legacy was destroyed until I told her there was one plant left. Sophia thinks Batwoman has him. I made my feelings very clear on Coriana. You've been harder to read. What with the stabbing? Do you regret it? I do. I'm regretting it right now. I regret it every day. <laughs> I literally had it in me to stab a knife through your heart. And she's a terrorist. She's killed other people. So. So. Nigga. Oh, the simpage, the simpage is high. I don't care if you're a murderer. Like, this is some Twilight shit. Y'all too old for this shit. <laughs> Y'all didn't, oh no. That is not the bat tech and you did not leave it in there. You idiot. <laughs> Oh, her DNA. Has that ever happened to Batman? Like he just spills some DNA and they fucking collect it and try to match it to somebody in the system? Has that ever happened? Perfect. 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 Oh, I'm really missing my bat suit right now. Oh my god. Like always, everything depends on how fucking dumb our protagonist is. And because of that, now Sophie knows who Batwoman is. Not because she's a good detective or anything, but because Ryan is stupid. Yeah, that's the episode though. It's another just boring one. Like ever since, like, yeah, they they ran out of juice with the with the social issues. They were like, okay, well, can we, what, what can we talk about? Uh, like racism, uh, like racism? Racism again, but like with orphans this time racism and that's it <laughs> and now they're depending on just writing regular stories and they're really boring i could barely get any jokes out of this because it's just so fucking boring before i was gonna give up because it was infuriating but now like there's nothing worse than batwoman being boring because annoyed i can work with that i can work with that i think i get better jokes when i'm annoyed bored gets me no jokes no inspiration the whole kate thing coming back she needs to hurry up and get here because i don't i don't know it's just not eventful anymore i'm glad ocean's back as nonsensical as it is i'm glad he's back he's fine ass i'm not glad that he's sucking up on alice Ugh. this is what i was expecting i was expecting like campy jacob junkie and he kind of just yelled he just yelled 
That's it. Okay. That's so boring. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm sorry if it's not as funny as my usual reactions. Like I said, Batwoman is getting kind of stale. I, I gotta say, I couldn't get anything out of this for some reason. Maybe the next one will be better. I don't know. I'm going to bed because this episode bored me to, to sleep. So <laughs> love you guys and bye.